so not John Kennedy's remarks are a scathing critique of the current administration, painting it as inefficient and ideologically extreme. His words reveal deep anxieties and contribute to the growing ideological divide. Well, what I was going to say, Neil, if I can finish my thought, when you look at the polls, um, fair or not, what the polls, the crosstab show, is that, is that those Americans who have an opinion of the vice president think that, number one, she's a bit of a ding-dong, and number two, that she is a, a member of the loon wing of the Democratic Party. She's a San Francisco well, that, that Democrat. member of the loon wing, Senator, that, uh, I'm not, you know, casting aspersions either way, though. That member of the loon wing is now, you know, dead even with Donald Trump in one battle state ground after another. Now, I'm not saying that might last. I am saying that this loon is surging. And if the Republican approach to her is to treat her like a loon and a cackle, and, and she is just an empty suit, I, I wonder how far that'll go. Well, I'm sorry if that offends you, Neil, but I'm just telling you what the people of America think. I'm just think telling you, you what, uh, what the polls are showing right now. Now, if you think they're short line, they're not going to last, and you're okay with yeah. this approach of talking about her laugh and nasty and disrespectful and all this stuff that Donald Trump has said, you don't think part of that is going to kill you at the polls? I, I, I'm telling you what I think the American people think right now, based on the polling that I've seen. And let me say it again. I think that fair or not, and, and it may upset you, but fair or not, uh, the American people think, those who have an opinion of the vice president, think that, number one, she's a little bit of a, a ding-dong. She's not a serious person. Uh, they've had one vegetable in chief. They don't want another. And they also think that she is a member of the loon wing of the Democratic Party. She's a, a San Francisco Democrat. She believes in abortion on demand. Uh, she uh, believes that... Uh, uh, that Israel should just give give uh, the Palestinians anything that they want. Um, she believes in an open border. Uh, she thinks uh, criminals uh, or cops are a bigger problem than criminals. Um, she's proud of what she and the president did in Afghanistan. Um, she believes in uh, she she believes in uh, strength or our national security strength or weakness. That if we just sit down with our enemies and have uh, a cup of hot cocoa and give them a hug that they'll be nice to us. Uh, and no, I, and I, I, don't, I don't know if she suggested the cup of hot coffee. Kennedy's straightforward and unfiltered style resonates strongly with those dissatisfied with the administration. He particularly criticizes Kamala Harris, portraying her as lacking the seriousness and competence necessary for her role, attributing her shortcomings to a perceived affiliation with democratic socialism. The metaphor one vegetable in chief is a pointed jab not only at Joe Biden's leadership, but also at Harris, suggesting a continuation of what he sees as weak and ineffective governance. Kennedy's remarks, while sincere and reflective of his and many conservatives' values, are a strategic move to align with the sentiments of his audience. His blunt criticism strikes a chord with those who feel disillusioned with the current administration making them feel vindicated and empowered. However, this same rhetoric can alienate and offend supporters of Harris, leading to defensive attitudes and further political polarization. The public's reaction to Kennedy's comments is likely to be deeply divided. Critics of Harris and the administration might cheer Kennedy's honesty and his willingness to express their frustrations openly. On the other hand, supporters of Harris and those opposed to such inflammatory rhetoric, might see his remarks as disrespectful and damaging to constructive dialogue. Terms like ding-dong and vegetable-in-chief evoke strong emotional responses, amplifying the partisan tensions that already disrupt the political landscape. 